Are you better today? Yeah, better. A lot better. Energized and ready for battery on how batteries work today. So battery has a lot of energy, so I hope you after a long night's sleep you're already charged with batteries. Right, so um, this course is gonna take 15 minutes, so we're gonna be quite um, we'll be going through things quite quickly. But I hope you pay attention so that you don't miss out on anything. But before we begin, just let me set some ground rules. Um, if you need to take some phone calls, please um, do so outside if need be. Best is if you don't do that. Try to be more cooperative with one another, don't disrupt your other learners, and then we all contribute to learning. Is that agreeable? Yeah. Okay? Hey, I need to pray five times a day, so maybe go for a prayer very long. How? Um, I think 15 minutes, I think that prayer can wait, right? 15 minutes. Okay, la. okay? Okay, very good. Okay, so without further ado, let me start on our first topic, which is how batteries work. Alright, if you just like to pay attention to the screen, I'll go through step by step. Right, the first thing is, a battery is made of three components. Right, we have the cathode, the anode, and the electrolyte. So these three components make up a battery, regardless of if it's a household battery or a car battery, these are the three main components. When the battery is not in use, electrons from the anode, which is the negative portion, wants to go over to the positive portion, but the electrolyte stops this process. What happens when you take a battery and then you plug it into, let's say, a electrical device like a fan or a light bulb? What happens is the electrons, they pass through the wire. Oh, sorry. They go across and they power the light bulb. Simple enough? Does this make sense? Yeah, I, I just don't get it. Because isn't it supposed to be cathode, not cathode? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. And, and, and no, not okay. I think what um what you yeah, might be what you might be referencing is uh pro perhaps American English, but uh in Singapore we follow the Queen's English, so this is the pronunciation that we are gonna be following. Right. So, uh, are you American by any chance? Yes. Or I educated in America? Okay. Um, if that's the case, please feel free to pronounce it in whichever fashion is best for you. Okay. But for the context of this class, we'll pronounce it as it is. But everyone clear on this topic so far? Okay, very good. <coughs> okay, so in terms of batteries, as I mentioned earlier, batteries come in all shapes and sizes. Alright? Um, cars, you can use it in cars, you can use household when you're uh, powering your electrical appliances. Right? And different materials actually affect different key indicators. Everyone following me so far? So there are four of them. What I'd like all of you now to do is to stand up. Stand up, stand up. Right? And in your groups, tree, tree, I'd like you to approach the box. What I have is a few cards. I'd like you to match these cards to the different indicators. Right? As best as you can. Right? So I'll give you two minutes to attempt this activity. Okay, you can head back to your seats. Thank you very much. Okay, 
some of you have the right idea and um, you're moving in the right direction. I know this is a bit confusing, but no worries. I'll go through step by step. Right, so maybe this group, right, I can start with lifetime. Um, any reason why you put this particular answers? Okay, this is correct, for sure. Affects longevity of battery. Yes, mm -hmm. lifetime. Ex affects acceleration of and charging. Do you think this is part of lifetime? How about this group? What do you think? So, um, with all this in mind, I'm going to show you the correct answers and I'm going to explain to you what they all mean. Okay. <clears throat> the first thing is called power density and this affects how much output, how much power is, is, com is coming out from the battery at any one time. And it affects acceleration and charging because if I can come out a lot at once, I can take in a lot at once at the same time. Okay. <clears throat> Second, is energy density, and this affects how much energy can be stored within a battery, right? And subsequently, it affects range in a car, right? So the more battery I can store, the more <coughs> that I can travel. Does this make sense? And then the next is efficiency. An efficient battery will convert 100% of whatever energy is stored into performance, right? We call wasted energy is in terms of heat, light and sound, this is um, things that we do not need. Right? So an efficient battery will not produce any of this. And the last one is called lifetime. Right? So this affects the life, uh, how many cycles this battery can be charged and depleted. Right? It affects how long you can use this battery for. Any questions on these four points? So this battery, how long can the battery last? Battery, it really depends on the battery. So does does charging affects the longevity of the battery? Charging. What do you, what do you mean by charging? Mm -hmm. Keep charging. Even though it's not, it's a eighty percent charge it, seventy percent. Ah, this is a very good question. Anyone got any thoughts on this question? Mm -hmm. But some of the charges are mm -hmm. like the fast fast charger. You can charge in a short time. Mm -hmm. Some you can it takes longer to charge. Okay, this is, um, we are go we are going into something that is very technical already, but I think in the course of 15 minutes we won't be going into that, but if you want you can sign up for the advanced course, okay? So in this case, um, these are the four things that you need to know. Okay, so far. Okay, so without further ado, I've got two worksheets here. Okay, so what we've covered today is how batteries work, number one, and number two is the four key indicators of a battery, correct? So I'd like you to like you two groups to take one minute to prepare a one minute presentation of how you would explain your topic. Okay. Hi, welcome. Hi. Hi. Um I think we are thank you for coming. Um please take seat. My apologies. No worries. No worries. Please take seat.